across the street, her car was almost completely covered with the bees. Make you nervous? Oh, I was. I was. <laughs> A neighborhood on Cincinnati's west side has been quite literally buzzing this week with a swarm of unusual visitors. Now, you may not know it, but Hamilton County is one of the busiest honeybee areas in the entire state, and this is prime season. Beekeepers tell us the two weeks before and after Mother's Day are usually the busiest for them when it comes to swarm calls. But our mild winter has kicked the bees into high gear early. Local 12 News reporter Rich Jaffe joins us live from Covedale with a look at what all the buzz is about. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rob. The bees arrived here on Woodbriar Lane early Monday, and since that point, they've been going house to house, tree to tree, trying to set up a good place for their new hive. They finally settled on this magnolia tree, and early this morning, a beekeeper arrived, took out the major part of the swarm. But as you can see, there are still quite a few of the little buggers around here, and they probably will be here for a couple of days. It's a sound that just might make your skin crawl, the buzz of a few thousand happy honeybees. Estimated at around 6,000 bees, the swarm moved through Amy Morris's yard yesterday. It was incredible, just I swear, billions of them. And, and you couldn't see my car. Apparently I had one of my windows cracked, so I wasn't even going near that. So they, they just up and left? They migrated to the tree. Even though the queen was captured this morning and the swarm transplanted, you can still see bunches of bees crawling and flying around what they thought would be their home on this magnolia tree. While homeowners enjoyed the excitement, they're also glad the bugs are gone. Someone called out across the street, oh, look at the bees, look at the bees. And they were actually um, traveling up the street in this big swarm, and you could hear just the buzzing sound. I could hear it from my porch. The swarm was captured by beekeeper Rich Stewart and transported to its new home at Carriage House Farms in North Bend. Nine times out of ten, swarms are very docile. Uh, they've gorged themselves on honey, so they've got enough food in their belly for, for three or four or five days, and it makes them very sedate. Uh, bees as a creature uh, uh, are usually not as defensive as, say, paper wasps or yellow jackets or something like that. Stewart says bees are not only good for the environment, but they're good business, too. Our 60 hives will produce, on average, about 80 pounds of honey per hive. So that'll give us a little bit over two tons of honey this year. Now, Stuart tells me that these remaining bees will probably be gone in 24 to 48 hours, which will make the neighbors really happy around here. The most surprising part of this entire story was when I found out that the beekeeper, Rich Stewart, is allergic to, guess what? Bee stings. Oh my gosh. Wow. Go figure. <laughs> no kidding. Rob? Are the kids watching the bees or are they watching you back there? Uh, they're staying away from the bees. They're smarter than I am right now. You're not, you're not supposed to aggravate them, so we're trying to be very calm and cool here. You're not doing they, a really uh, good job with that, though. React Thanks a to lot. that. <laughs> See, Rich. Honeybees are not just found in the suburbs. Of course, Rich Stewart tells us there are active honey-making colonies on top of the Karoo Tower. Those bees make honey for the Orchids Restaurant. If you have problems with swarms, excuse me, of bees, go to local12.com, click on the red Get It button there, and that'll give you some information about what to do. I've got the heebie-jeebies now after watching that story. I just the feel like something's yeah. on me, yeah. Ooh. Police search for a suspect.